G'day again, Scott McCown, the Aussie Off-Road RCs. Uh, just down here, I had to move from the dog park. A couple of women were complaining. I tried to move to the other end of the park, but they couldn't control their dogs there. Um, she started uh, getting quite riled up because I was there. I was there first, there was no one else there. They turn up and apparently I got to vacate the place for them. But I tried to be civil and go to the other side of the park, but yeah, they wouldn't have it. So here I am down here now and I'm going to try out the boat. So here it is here. I've done some little modifications to the battery tray. As you can see down here, I had to cut the corner out to allow these wires and the battery to sit down properly in the tray. So I just used my Bremel tool to cut that corner piece out. Maybe that's something the manufacturer can fix up. It is a little windy here too, so I don't know how I'm going to go. This boat might flip on the water. I did have to adjust my rudder so it uh, had even steering. So check that out in the water and see how we go. I bought some of this. Uh, silicon it's uh, used for um, in places that make food and stuff for their uh, rubber rings and that like um, you know, breweries and stuff like that and so forth it's all written on the tube here that's uh, sanitary stuff not toxic it won't go hard on the rubber seal so I'll use this on the rubber seal on the boat to keep the water out so it's about the price here in Australia, that's the larger tube of it, so that'll last us a long time. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that works. Because uh, any other silicon will go hard and maybe even cause it to uh, stick, which would make it uh, difficult to get it apart. So this stuff uh, won't do that, it won't harden, but it will keep the water out, the blokes were saying, and it stops leaks in containers and so forth. And, uh, and they got rubber seals. So that should be good. So we'll get on with this and uh, get it in the water, eh? Let's get this up here. So yeah. Oh yeah. Turned it off. Alrighty, yeah, so I'll get this together. There we go. So as you can see, it's a rubber seal right around it. I'll just put the silicon around it. Let's see how this goes. In here. My knowledge as a diver, you only need a small amount around on the rubber seal. to we'll prevent the water getting in. Now it's been a while since I've made a YouTube film on the RCs or anything because I've been busy with work and now actually I'm out of work. It's a company I work for of uh, decided to do major renovations in the cracking room. They work in a um, Macadamia Muck Factory. So, yeah. Working on this again. Hope the channel to go further. But there's a lot of people out there doing this, so it's a bit hard to compete. And as I don't have the money to compete with most of them, we're going here buying the latest RC cars at the moment. I hope I can do what I can with what I've got. Um, been a bit down on it lately, so I've been staying at home a lot.
gap between the rubber and the plastic. So, uh, hopefully the trim and everything's okay. kind of boats before. We've got this one off Banggood, which you can look it up on there. The price does vary. Nice nose protector on it. Controller. So there's no actual switch in the boat. It um, just connects itself. So you turn, turn the boat on first. When you turn your controller and let it sink. Head over here, we have a boat ramp. We'll see how this thing goes. You're supposed to be able to get about 15 20 minutes out of the battery. It is a 2200 4S, so hopefully it goes all right. I'll see how dry this sand and that is down here. Tripod set up. Not too bad. Is it really, really squishy? Look how squishy this is. Alright. Get this all set up. So, this is the lake I'm gonna run it in. Tides out, so. This a little bit squishy on the sides. Not quite sinking in. Now Japanese work boots are working well. <laughs> right, yeah. So we'll see if I can get a run here without um, being disturbed too much. Let's level this out a bit. Sink in too much. Alright, well, I'm going to give a bit of a shot this way. I've got no one else to do this camera work for me, and it's the best to run it that way. So, let's get it in and see how we go.
said some correct in the link. Yeah, we'll stop it there. I hope you can see that all right. Um, I'm gonna have to adjust this rudder again. It seems to want to go left more than than right. All right, yeah, we'll end it there. And uh, thanks for watching. And please sub subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell button if you want to see more. I'm gonna uh, try and do some more videos while I've got the spare time. Uh, might get me out of the house a bit. <laughs> so, I'm going to adjust this. I might do another quick shot and see how we go. Goodbye for now.